हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस एटीन लेक्चर ऑन कॉम्प्लेक्स एनालिसिस ओके इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन व्हाट इज व्हाट डू वी मीन बाय डिफरेंशिएबिलिटी ऑफ अ कॉम्प्लेक्स वैल्यूड फंक्शन वी हैव सीन व्हाट इज द डिफरेंशिएबिलिटी ऑफ अ कॉम्प्लेक्स वैल्यूड फंक्शन एट अ पॉइंट जेड नॉट एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो सीन दैट वी से दैट अ पॉइंट इज एनालिटिक एट अ पॉइंट जेड नॉट इफ इट इज डिफरेंशिएबल एट एवरी पॉइंट इन सम ओपन नेबरहुड ऑफ दैट पॉइंट जेड नॉट ओके सो दिस इज वॉट वी हैव डन इन द लास्ट वीडियो एंड वी हैव सीन दैट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ डिफरेंशिएबिलिटी इज दैट दिस लिमिट लिमिट ऑफ एफ ऑफ जेड प्लस डेल जेड माइनस एफ ऑफ जेड नॉट डिवाइडेड बाई डेल जेड as the del z tending to zero should exist and it was very difficult to see whether this limit exist or not because in case of complex valued functions if this is z not then i have infinite number of paths okay to approach to this z not it is not like the case of real analysis where you have just only left hand limit and right hand limit you can compute both the limit and check whether they are equal or not so that that thing is not possible here so we look for something else right now if you are given a function and you want to establish whether at a particular point that function is differentiable or not uh, you cannot do it by uh, computing the limits because you cannot compute the limits along infinite paths so we go for some other tools we look for some other tools so the famous tool is cauchy riemann's equation cauchy riemann's equations we are going to derive these equations in this video right so let us see that what is that thing right so cauchy riemann's equations which are famous uh, famously called as cr equations so suppose our function f of z is differentiable at a point z not right so it means that this limit limit <coughs> del z tending to 0 f of z uh, z not plus del z minus f of z not upon del z exists right and what do we mean by saying that this limit exists it means that this is your point z not you can come along any path any limit uh, any path along any curve right this limit will exist it will be same along all, all the paths so now what i am doing uh, i am assuming that my f of z is actually u of x comma y therefore i have this limit as limit del x comma del y tending to 0 right then i have del z is equal to del x plus iota del y because everything is complex here so my function this will be u of x not plus delta x comma y not plus delta y plus iota times v of x not plus del x comma y not plus delta y minus u of f of z not is u of x not comma y not plus iota times v of x not comma y not divided by del x plus iota del y right now what i am doing i am uh, choosing a particular path so we have this particular situation we have our z not here right so the first thing i am doing is i am approaching z not along a horizontal path if i am uh, 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 approaching z not along a horizontal line my del y is equal to 0 right there is no change in y when you approach along a horizontal line so let us approach along a horizontal line so we have del z is equal to del x therefore our limit becomes so we have this thing f of the f dash z not is equal to limit del x tending to 0 okay so it will be u of x not plus del x comma y not my plus iota times v of x not plus del x comma y not minus u of x not comma y not plus iota times v of x not comma y not divided by del x right what is this this is equal to limit del x tending to 0 i am combining this first term and third term i have u of x not plus del x comma y not minus u of x not comma y not upon del x plus i am com combining these two parts iota times limit del x tending to 0 u of v of x not 
plus del x comma y naught minus v of x naught comma y naught divided by del x. Now what is this? This is nothing but partial derivative of u with respect to x at the point x naught comma y naught plus eta times what is this? This is partial derivative of v with respect to x at the point x naught comma y naught. So we have got our f dash z naught at the point as equal to this thing, right? Note this thing. This is your one, right? Now let us choose another path. This is my. This is the situation. I have my z naught here. Now I am approaching this z naught along a vertical line, right? Along a vertical line, I have my del x is equal to zero. Therefore, del z will be eta times del y. So my f dash z naught will be limit del y tending to zero u of x naught comma y naught plus del y i am doing some manipulation okay i'll write it straight first at a times v of x naught comma y naught plus del y minus u of x naught comma y naught plus at a times v of x naught comma y naught again i am combining the first and the third term and second on the fourth term so i this is my del z right so this is limit del y tending to zero u of x naught comma y naught plus del y minus u of x naught comma y naught divided by eta times del y plus eta times eta limit del y tending to zero v of x naught comma y naught plus del y minus v of x naught comma y naught divided by del y right now what is this except this eta this thing this whole thing if I remove this eta, this is nothing but partial derivative of u with respect to y at the point x naught comma y naught. So this is equal to one by eta times curly u by curly y at x naught comma y naught plus eta and eta will cancel. This will be this is equal to partial derivative of v with respect to y at the point x naught comma y naught. So we have this is as r differentiate uh, derivative at the point z naught now the derivatives at uh, along two paths i i got these things along horizontal line i am getting the value as partial derivative of u with respect to x at the point x naught comma y naught plus eta times partial derivative of v with respect to x at the point x naught comma y naught and i am getting f dash z naught is equal to 1 by eta partial derivative of u with respect to y at the point x naught comma y naught plus curly v by curly y at the point x naught comma y naught so i can write 1 by eta is 1 by eta is minus eta okay so i can write f dash z naught is equal to i'll write this as first a real part this is real part curly v by curly y x naught comma y naught minus eta times curly u by curly y x naught comma y naught right so you have these two situations this one and this one now because the limit is existing that function is differentiable so this thing should be equal to this thing right so comparing these two things comparing these two things we get real part is equal to real part so you have uh, i'm sorry so you have uh, this thing curly u by curly x at the point x naught comma y naught is equal to curly v by curly y at the point x naught comma y naught and comparing the in imaginary parts you have curly v by curly x is equal to minus curly u by curly y okay obviously at the point x naught comma y naught x naught comma y naught so i can write it in the short form as ux is equal to vy and uy is equal to minus vx these are famous cr equations okay so whenever you have this thing that a function is differentiable at a point then cr equations will be satisfied right okay so we have this condition this thing that if f is f of z which is u of x comma y plus eta times v of x comma y then and it is differentiable at z naught then you have u x at x naught comma y naught is equal to u y at x naught comma y naught and u y at x sorry u x is equal to v y and u y at x naught comma y naught is equal to minus 
vx at x naught comma y naught, right? But the converse is not true. What do we we mean by saying that if the CR if function is differentiable, differentiability implies CR equations, okay? But if CR equations are satisfied at any particular point, you cannot imply that function is differentiable. May it may or may not be. So it means that CR conditions they are sufficient conditions for differentiability. Uh, sorry, they are not. They are not sufficient condition for differentiability. Okay, so they are necessary condition for differentiability, and they are not sufficient condition for differentiability. Right. So we can write this thing. CR conditions are necessary for dis differentiability. What do we mean by that? The, if a function is differentiable at a point. CR conditions has they have to be satisfied necessary for differentiability, but not sufficient. Okay. In the next video, we will look at an example of this thing. Example of a function where CR conditions are satisfied, but function is not differentiable. Now let us do some problem. One problem. Let us look at this equation. Show that the function. We have to show that the function. f of z is equal to x square plus y plus iota times y square minus x is not analytical is not analytic at any point. Okay, let us do that. First of all, you know that the possible points of uh, where the function can be differentiable is the points where the CR equations are satisfied. So we have this thing. That our function is u x comma y is my x square plus y, and v of x comma y is my y square minus x. So partial derivative of u with respect to x is 2x. Partial derivative of u with respect to y is 1. Similarly, partial derivative of v with respect to x is minus 1, and partial derivative of v with respect to y is 2y. Now, possible points of differentiability. Are the points where CR conditions are satisfied? So that is where u x is equal to v y, that is 2 x is equal to 2 y, and u y is equal to minus v x, that is 1 is equal to minus of minus 1. So this is satisfied automatically, and this is satisfied at the point x is equal to y. So it means that the possible points where the function can be differentiable, we are not sure. They are the points on this line, right? So these. only the points on this line are the possible points where our function can be differentiable now what do we mean by saying that a function is analytic at any point a function is said to be analytic any at any point if it is differentiable in an open neighborhood of that point now suppose uh, let us say that at some point the function is differentiable which we are not sure right now because here conditions are only necessary not sufficient then also we don't get a neighborhood because only these points uh, only on this uh, on the points on this line the function can be differentiable and nowhere else so there is no open neighborhood no open domain in complex plane there is no open set of c where the function is differentiable right therefore it function this function is nowhere analytic therefore this function is nowhere analytic right so the crux of the thing is that cr conditions are suf a necessary condition and not sufficient condition in the next video we will look at an example where cr conditions are satisfied at a point but the function is not differentiable at that point thank you